ask you a few more questions. Where were you around 11.30 the night uh, Theo Berkshire was killed? I, um, uh, why? Well, why don't you come down to the station with us so we can have a little talk? Oh, um, <laughs> I can't right now. Don't worry, they can find someone to fill in for you. No, it's not that. It's just that my son is with me and I, I can't leave him alone. Dad, is everything okay? Uh, yes, everything's fine. <laughs> um, this is my son, Alex. Oh, what have you got there? Um, we can meet tomorrow when he's at school. Well, we're going to need you to come with us now. If you don't want to leave him alone, he can come too. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mr. Marley, were you in Theo Berkshire's apartment the night he was killed? Yes. With Mr. Berkshire's permission? No. I was squatting there with my son. We were evicted from our apartment a couple weeks before, and I... I didn't, I didn't know what else to do. You had a job. You were one of Berkshire's employees. You couldn't afford your own place? My wife died of ovarian cancer. She was sick for years. I was buried in medical debt. And my son is deaf, and it's not cheap raising a child with special needs in this country. And I didn't have any family money. I mean, my father, he worked his whole life as a doorman in uniform, holding the door open for people like Theo Berkshire. I made $40,000 a year, and I just barely was able to keep my head above water. And then the building we lived in got sold to an investment firm, and they doubled our rent. We were out on the street. Couldn't you just get a cheaper apartment? <laughs> my credit is shot because of my debt. No one was willing to rent to me, and even if they were, I couldn't scrounge up first month and last month, plus a deposit. <laughs> Once you fall behind, it's just, there's no hope in catching back up. Why not go to a homeless shelter? I tried, but all the ones that, that took children were full. I would have to put my son into foster care, and I wasn't going to leave him. In a million years, I never thought that would have happened. But the next thing I knew, we were living out of my truck. But then uh, Berkshire had it towed. I just felt like we kept getting pummeled, and I was out of options. And I knew that the penthouse was just sitting there empty, and I overheard Theo bragging about how he wasn't even going to live in it. Uh, it seemed like a victimless crime until, until he showed up that night, in the middle of the night. Louis, did you shoot Theo Berkshire? <sighs> yes. My son and I were asleep in the bedroom, and then... I heard a noise in the other room in the middle of the night, and when I went out to see, it was dark, and the lights were off, and I saw a man in the living room, and he turned to look at me, and he shouted something that I, I can't make out now, and, and then he pulled out a gun. And what did you do? Before I could do anything, my son came out from the bedroom behind me. He pointed the gun at him, and I, I just reacted. I tackled him to the ground, and I wrestled for the gun, and it went off. And then what happened? And then I turned the light on, and I saw who it was, and I panicked, and I, I packed our stuff and left. Look, I feel really terrible, okay? But I didn't mean to kill him. You have to know that. You were just trying to stop him from killing you. I was protecting my son. No further questions. You say you tackled Berkshire, wrestled for the gun, but there were no signs of a struggle. There was no furniture in the apartment. It was empty. What I mean to say is, Theo Berkshire had no defensive wounds on him. If you two fought... It, it all happened so fast, I didn't even land a blow. I mean... The gun just went off. If what you're claiming is true, you had a right to defend yourself. So I flee. In my experiences, rights like that only applied to people like Berkshire, not to people like me. 
You were the one who sold Felix Vassar the gun because it was your gun, wasn't it? No, it was Theo's. I, I wanted to get rid of it because I was scared that it had my fingerprints or my DNA on it. And we needed the money. In the charge of murder in the second degree, we find the defendant, Louis Marley, guilty. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, for your service. This court is adjourned. Dad? No! Dad! It's going to be fine. It's going to be okay.